Namaskar, Nileshok here. And in this session, we will look at the journey of Ram, Lakshman and Sita, starting from Ayodhya, all the way to Ravana's Lanka and returning to Ayodhya. Saptashri Ramayanam is a beautiful short summary of entire Valmiki Ramayan in about seven to eight shloka. We will discuss the journey of Ram, Lakshman and Sita that is described through Ayodhya Khan, Aranya Khan, Kishkinda Khan, Sundar Khan, and Yuddha Khan. Eventually, they returning to Ayodhya, where Ram was coronated as a king. Before we get into this specific chronology of this journey, it is very important to have a feel for the timing of Ramayana. This is important because some of the places that are described in Valmiki Ramayana and that we are going to identify in our times, there could be some approximations involved because of a huge gap of time from the timing of Ramayana, which happened more than 14,000 years ago to our times. Just a brief summary, my research work began with the astronomy evidence from Valmiki Ramayana. When I read Valmiki Ramayana multiple times, I could extract close to 600 specific astronomy descriptions, astronomy observations from Valmiki Ramayana. And when I put them together in a scientific fashion with logical reasoning, just as a metaphor, think of this as solving a jigsaw puzzle, solving a crossword puzzle. The whole evidence leads one to 13th millennium BCE. If you would like to know more in India, this book 12,209 BCE, this goes deep into the dating of Ramayan based on astronomy evidence is published by Subbu Publications. If you are outside India, then the book to look for is the historic Ram. The title is different, but essentially the historic Ram, also known as 12,209 BC, the content is identical. So we begin our journey one year after Ram and Sita wedding took place in Mithila, they arrived at Ayodhya. All the four brothers along with their wives, they started living in their separate palaces in Ayodhya. Very soon, the Kekaya Yuraj, Yudajit, he came to Ayodhya and described his desire to take Bharat and Shatrugna with him to Kekaya Raja. Dashrat agreed and soon Bharat Shatrugna with their wives left for Kekaya. About a year has gone by and while Bharat and Shatrugna are still in Kekaya, Dashrat felt that he's getting old now Ram is well settled in learning about the aspects of administration. And now he should be declared, Ram should be declared as a Yuvaraj. He discusses his will with his ministers, with Rajaguru, and the details of that story are well known to most of us. So I'm going to fast forward and 
start at the point where finally Ram has to leave for Vanvas. Lakshman decides to accompany him and so does Sita. So now Ram, Lakshman, Sita are leaving Ayodhya. And that day was actually the day that was scheduled for his coronation as a Yuraj, but now that turned out to be the day when he left Ayodhya. Based on the Valmiki Ramayana evidence, we can decide, we can identify that day to be 21st December 12,223 BC. This is the map of India and southern portion of India beyond Indian border. Ram Lakshman Sita left Ayodhya. They went towards Prayagraj. They met Rishi Bharadwaj and then went to Chitrakut mountain, Chitrakut Parvat. While they were staying there, Bharata, when he returned to Ayodhya and came to know of all the happenings, he decided to go and meet Ram. He decided to go with the army and therefore there was some time involved in preparations of the roads and so on. But based on Valmiki Ramayana evidence, we can actually pinpoint the day when Bharat eventually reached Chitrakut and met Ram. That day was 10 April 12,222 BC. So that's about three months after Ram left Ayodhya. Bharat came back to Ayodhya and started ruling the kingdom on behalf of Rama. Very soon, Ram left Chitrakut and started roaming through the Dandakaran. Now this roaming around in the Dandakaran area, which is shown here with number two and broadly outline area here, which includes parts of modern day Uttar Pradesh, parts of modern day Madhya Pradesh, parts of modern day Chhattisgarh, possibly parts of Odisha, possibly parts of Maharashtra, could be parts of Andhra Pradesh, a very broad area known as Dandakaranya. And that is where Ram, Lakshman and Sita spent about 10 years. That is all the description that we find in Valmiki Ramayana. Towards the end of their 14 year period, when about two years were left into that 14 year period, they made one of the Agastya. And that Agastya Rishi suggested that Ram, Lakshman, and Sita go and spend time in Panchavati, which is the modern day Nashik in state of Maharashtra. So that is where Ram, Lakshman, and Sita arrived when about 10 plus years of their one was had gone by. They started living at Panchoti, modern day Nashik, on the bank of river Godavari. And this is when some instances happen, such as Shurpanaka coming to their ashram, then Shurpanaka going away angrily when Lakshman chopped her nose and ears. Shurpanaka went to Khara Dushan and Khara Dushan Trishira attacked Rama and Ram defeated them. That day, the day Khara Dushan and Trishira were defeated by Ram and Lakshman. That was the day of 28th March, 12,210 BC. There was a solar eclipse on this day. After that, Shurpanaka went to Ravan. With the help of Marich, he plotted the famous plot of the golden deer and snatched away Sita. 
Valmiki Ramayan does not have sufficient evidence to tell us exactly when this happened. However, approximately we can define the time period to be around May through July 12,210 BC when Ravan took away Sita from Panchavati. Ram and Lakshman started looking for Sita and in their search they met Sugriv and Hanuman. At the request of Sugriv, Ram decided to kill Wali. They planned their first duel, Sugriv and Wali, and that took place on 21st of September, 12,210 BC. If you recall the story, Rama supposed to kill Wali, but when Sugriv and Wali both brothers were fighting. Rama could not distinguish who is who from a distance. And he did not want to make a mistake and kill Sugriv. So he decided not to kill. And eventually Sugriva had to run from the place. And Sugriva wondered why did Rama not kill Wali? The misunderstanding was sorted out. The next day, Sugriv again challenged Wali for a duel. This time he was wearing a garland of Gajapushpa flowers. And this time Ram could recognize who Wali is. While the duel was going on, Rama killed Wali. After some time, Sugriva invited all the Vanaras from his kingdom and outside his kingdom, divided them into four different search parties. They went in four different directions. And the party that went in the southern direction, most important direction, because that's where Ravana's Lanka was, and that's where people had seen Ravan carrying Sita. So the southern party had Angad, Jambavan, Hanuman, they went in the southern direction. Eventually, as you know, Hanuman was in Lanka. That timing can be estimated to be from 27 through 30 August 12,209 BC. Now for the specific geographical location of Lanka, I have deliberately highlighted a very broad area. Because of the time constraints, I don't want to go into the details of this. I would encourage a number of you, if you find curious, to watch my talk or multiple talks on the possible location of Ravana's Lanka. But the reason I have described this as a very broad area, this is based on the evidence coming from many different ancient Indian narratives, including Valmiki Ramayana. So there are many descriptions in Valmiki Ramayana that points us to the location of Lanka to be something very different from modern day Sri Lanka. That is one reason I have shown this as a very broad area. And if we look at the additional ancient Indian narratives, specifically ancient Indian astronomy text, they refer to Lanka as a location which is on the prime meridian that passes through Kurukshetra, Ujjain, and also the intersection of the equator itself. So in terms of longitudes and latitudes, the magnitude of zero and zero, so right on the equator and right on the prime meridian. And that location would indeed approximately uh, come to where this arrow ends, okay? So somewhere in this area, you can think of Ravana's Lanka. So Hanuman reached Ravana's Lanka, he met Sita, as you know, and he came back to Kishkinda. Once Hanuman returned to Kishkinda, Ram, Lakshman, Sugriv, and the entire Wanara army left for Lanka. Eventually, Nala built the Nala Setu, 
so that the huge Wanara army could cross over to Lanka, which was an island. The war began on 25th December 12,209 BCE. Just a day or two after the full moon day. War continued for about 13 days. And on 7th January 12,208 BCE, Rama killed Ravan. Ram, Lakshman, Sita, Vibhishan, Sugriv, Hanuman, they left for Ayodhya. On the way, they did stop at Kishkinda, where few Vanara ladies also joined their party. Pushpak Viman brought the entire party to the ashram of Bharadwaj on 12th of January, 12,208 BCE. Ram sent Hanuman ahead of him to Bharata to convey the message that Ram was here, but also to find out if Bharata had any change of heart. Now, Bharata being the great brother, he did not have any change of heart and he was very eager to meet Ram. The next day, Ram met Bharat at Nandigram and eventually entered Ayodhya. And on that day was coronated as the king. That day was 13th January, 12,208 BC. Valmiki Ramayana evidence is again very useful in determining the timing of Rama's return or Rama's arrival into Ayodhya. And that happens to be the Vaishakha Shukla Shashti as a lunar month and lunar tithi. So if you have to summarize it, Rama, Lakshman, Sita left from Ayodhya for Vanvas on 21st of December, 12,223 BCE. In about six days, while Ram, Lakshman, Sita were on their way to Chitrakut, Dashratha died. Bharat met Ram at Chitrakut about three months after Ram and Lakshman and Sita were living at Chitrakut on 10th of April, 12,222 BCE. On 11th of April, Bharata asked for Rama's sandals and returns to Ayodhya. The next many years of one was Ram, Lakshman, and Sita spent roaming around in Dandakaranya. Towards the end of their period of one was, they arrived at Panchoti, which is a modern day Nashik on the bank of Godavari. This is where Shurpanakha episode occurred. This is where Rama defeated and killed Khara, Dushan, and Trishir. And this is also the place where Ravana eventually arrived and took away Sita. Ram, Lakshman, and Sita started living in Panchoti. This is when the Shurpanaka episode occurred. Shurpanaka approached Khara, Dushan, and asked to defeat Ram and Lakshman. In effect, Khara, Dushan, and Trishira came to fight with Ram and Lakshman. The fighting occurred on 28th of March, 12,210 BCE. Rama killed Khara, Dushan, and Trishira. Then Ravan came and Ravan took away Sita from Panchoti sometime during May, July, 12,210 BCE. Rama and Lakshman started searching for Sita, eventually met Sugriva and Hanuman. The first duel between Sugriva and Wali took place on 21st of September, 12,210 BC. The second duel took place the next day on 22nd September in which Rama killed Wali. Eventually Hanuman reached Lanka. That was 
27th through 30th of August, 12,209 BC, when Hanuman was in Lanka, he returned to Kishkinda and then Wanara army left from Kishkinda to Lanka. Nala built a setu, Nala setu. Wanara army crossed using Nala setu to Lanka. The war began on 25th of December, 12,209 BC. It lasted for about 13 days. On 7th of January, 12,208 BC, Rama killed Ravan. On 12th of January, 12,208 BC, using Pushpak the whole Ram, Lakshman Sita, along with the Wanara party and Vibhishan, they arrived at the ashram of Sage Bharadwaj. And the next day, on 13th January, it was Vaishak Shukla Shashti. Rama met Bharat. Rama returned to Ayodhya. And Rama was coronated as the king. Namaskar.